This video will contain spoilers for the web novel. If you are not caught up, I highly recommend you click off the video. Arc 7 of ReZero definitely hit a new peak when it comes to ReZero, and it left off on quite possibly one of the strongest cliffhangers ever. However, I do believe that Satella, who has now just appeared in the City of Chaos Flame, will actually join Subaru as a character, or at least will stick around for a longer period of time. Now, a lot of people will think that that's crack, like I must be smoking something or something's going wrong. However, what if I told you there's some interesting information that only a few people have really realised about Sitella's appearance, and in this video, of course, I will speak about it. Now, this video will be sort of split into two different parts. The first part will be, of course, writing sort of elements, like why it makes sense for Tape to make a drastic change, and the second will be story evidence for Satella sticking around. So I want to start by talking about the thematic element of why I believe that Satella's appearance is actually a lot bigger than many people would think. We know in the past, when Tape does a cliffhanger, he actually makes it so that the cliffhanger isn't resolved as soon as possible. So if you want a few examples of this, in Arc 6, Subaru had amnesia. This was of course when Subaru woke up and he saw Beatrice, he saw Amelia, and he's like, I've been summoned to a different world. And this wasn't resolved until the end of Arc 6. Likewise, at the end of Arc 6, Rem wakes up, she doesn't know who she is, she doesn't know who Subaru is. Again, that's another cliffhanger that Tappy introduced, and were three volumes into Arc 7, and as you are aware, Rem hasn't solved that issue. Hell, we can even go to the latest Free Zero light novel, which is of course volume 28, where Subaru wakes up and he's a child. That problem still hasn't been resolved, so it's been one volume and Subaru's condition hasn't been solved. So you can see thematically, Tape uses cliffhangers to introduce a good plot to the story, and he doesn't really resolve it immediately. So I do not believe that Satella's appearance is just going to be wrapped up in one chapter. Now I'm going to move on to the evidence at why I believe that Satella will stick around for a lot longer, and so here we go into the evidence portion. So as stated, I'm going to explain why the story seems to be showing that Satella might stick around for a longer period of time. So I know immediately people are going to compare Satella's appearance to Arc 4, where in Season 2 of the anime, Subaru woke up and he saw the sanctuary covered in darkness. However, these are two separate situations, because firstly, in Arc 4, when Subaru woke up, the entire world, or the entire sanctuary, was already covered in darkness, and a lot of people died. Pretty much everyone was swallowed, except for Garfield. However, in Arc 7, is different. Subaru is the only character that has been enveloped by the shadows. Yorna grabbed Lewis and jumped away. Old Bart seemingly lost his arm, but he escaped. So that means the only person that has quotation mark being covered is Subaru. And we do know that Subaru doesn't need a reason to reset because no one died. Not only that, every other prominent character is watching what's going on. We've seen perspectives of Abel comment on what Subaru was hiding inside him, seemingly linking that the Witch of Envy is inside Subaru. We've seen Aldebrand scream. So, there's so much build-up to this moment that it would be extremely cheap if Subaru died to just reset the board back to normal. And like I said before, that would just be a cop-out. So, what is the evidence that Satella is actually going to stick around? Now, there's very important distinctions that need to be made, and that is, of course, the difference between the Witch of Envy and Satella herself. Many people know that Witch of Envy is the more Yandere personality that will kill everyone and everything. And the Witch of Envy is the entity that appeared in Arc 4. However, in Arc 7, it doesn't seem to be the Witch of Envy that's appearing. It seems to be Satella herself. 
Now, the reason why I'm making this distinction is because we know the Witch of Envy, as described by characters like Beatrice, is a character that doesn't understand human words, doesn't really form sentences. And we do know that from the Witch of Envy's interaction with Subaru in Arc 4. However, the Arc 7 Citella that appears seems to be able to speak normally. And we actually first see this in, of course, at the start of the death loop. However, let me give you some evidence right now. So to understand this, we need to go all the way back to Arc 2. And this is the example I'm first going to use. When Subaru jumps off the cliff, when Ram is trying to kill him after Rem dies to the curse, Subaru enters the Shadow Garden. This is the first time he ever enters the Shadow Garden in the series of ReZero, and this is actually removed from the anime. In this first Shadow Garden meeting, he meets Sitella, who's described as a shadow. However, Sitella states, I cannot meet you, not yet. Now, the reason why this is important is because we know Sitella is inside Subaru, as we've seen during many Shadow Garden encounters. However, the one thing you need to realize is that Sitella can speak normally. We also know this from the Witch's Tea Party, where Sitella herself appears. Now, the reason why this is really, really important is because in Arc 7, we also get another interesting interaction with Sitella inside the Shadow Garden. We can see from the above screenshot when Subaru first dies inside of the territory or the death loop, we can see that we see the Shadow Garden. And again, we know this is Sitella. Sitella professes her love for Subaru, but then she states, where are you? Again, we know before that Satella is the person in the Shadow Garden, and she's the more rational person that speaks. Also, in chapter 54, the most final, most recent chapter, when Satella appears, what does she say? She says, I found you. So, if she first says, where are you? And then she says, I found you, that means she was looking for Subaru. So we do know that whoever's appearing is not the Witch of Envy. This is Satella, a person who can form sentences. So this weird idea that Satella is going to destroy the entire city, I don't feel like that will happen. Not only that, you need to realize Abel is present. Remember, Abel has the power over the Yang Sword Valakia, which has been stated to burn the souls of the opponents. We actually learned this earlier in the arc, when the beast people, the horned people, were attacking him. And he said, you can attack me, but if you're not worthy, then you'll be burned by the flame of Valakia, and your soul will burn as well. So that means that maybe Abel can fight off Satella as well. Not only that, you also need to realize that Owl's future trial is of him seemingly speaking to Satella. So this is the most optimal way of bringing that future trial to reality because Satella will stick around, will meet Aldebaran, and Aldebaran will say his line, which was in the future trial. So that's the reason why I believe Satella is Satella and not the Witch of Envy. She will not destroy the entire city of Chaos Flame. And if anything, she might even join Subaru for a, a period of time. I do not feel like she will kill everyone. And this does seem like a crack theory, but I do feel like Tappy is moving in that direction because it seems like a total waste of time to just leave it on this cliffhanger and then just kill Subaru off to reset everything. Because to me, that makes no real sense as a writing perspective. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know down below.